Hello everyone. This is an update on the uh, Rolex that I had previously made with the three fibers. My uh, Angora rabbit fiber. Some mohair that I had ordered. And the Tunis um, wool from my sheep that I had carded. Blended it together on the blending board and made Rolex. Opened them up, and this is what I have. Bats. Whatever. And then I tear them in strips or whatever and spin them. Now, I want to show you how they spin. This is my new spinning wheel I've only had for a couple of months. It's the Ladybug. I love it. It's very quiet. It cradles easy. It's really nice. I like it. Let me show you what the... Uh, yarn looks like before we get started that I've already spun up. Now I hope you can hear me. I tried to make another video just a few minutes ago and the sound was terrible. So I'm trying it again and I hope that you can understand what I'm saying. And I want to show you how this drafts. And I tried showing that in the, uh, the other video that I just tried to make and it didn't work out. So I'm trying it again. Okay, here we go. Now this tunis wool is hard to draft. But when it comes to the sections that has the mohair and the angor fiber, no problem whatsoever. Now I know people draft differently. I like to draft and then twist just a little bit like this. Give the fiber a little twist when I pull, when I draft out. Give it a little twist. And when it gets really hard to draft, when you come to that tunis wool, a lot of this part right here is the uh, angora fiber, it looks like. It's all mixed. And then sometimes if I get a, like a big nip, let me show you. Big wad, you know, just it out. It's going to be okay. No big deal. I'm not a perfectionist. And if it gets hard to draft, I'll take it like this with my hand over here. Hold it tightly and pull from the back end. Just pull from the back. Then, you know, release and go down with it. See, that's a little bit tougher because it's that tunis wool and it's harder to draft. And that's way too much. But now if it breaks off, just let it go. Release some of those twists. That's what I do. Open this end up a little bit. Like that. Or, now if you don't want to do that, you can just break that section off. Like that. Start with a clean end. Like this. And we'll, I'll show you. Here's the... Uh, that and you just separate it draft a little bit and just start fresh just like that a little too thin so I've got just a little more in it. Sometimes you can do that too. I do it all the time. It's not hard. You know spinning is really really easy. I would encourage anyone to take up spinning. If I can do it anybody can. Now one thing about this spinning wheel That would be nice if it had the eyelet that would just slide back and forth so you don't have to stop and move your fiber up, you know. But it's not every little bit. I mean, it's fine the way it is. But that's it. I just wanted to show you how this uh, fiber is working out. I like it. I think it's going to be just fine. And let me try and show you a close-up video of the uh, fiber, the yarn, what it looks like. And I like it. 
I think it's going to work out great. Okay, I appreciate everyone watching. And if you could please leave a comment. Or hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll continue to try and make more videos. If there's enough interest, I mean, you know. But regardless, I'll continue to spin. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I hope you have a great day.